I have too much stuff. Hi, my name is Jenny. Welcome to my channel. I have been on a journey over the last year or so to sort of simplify my life. God has been very loud in my ear. I am well aware that I've been living excessively and I am just, I'm all done with that. I made a video a few months ago using the Marie Kondo method to organize my closet and I really, really liked how that turned out. I felt really great. And so I'm going to take that method sort of and apply it to my kitchen. I have just accumulated way too much stuff over the years. And so now I just have an excess of kitchen stuff that just stresses me out and I don't use. So today I'm going to hopefully get rid of a lot of things in my kitchen. If you're unfamiliar with the Marie Kondo method, what you do is you pick an area of your house today, my kitchen, and you empty out everything that you're storing in that space. So I'm going to empty out all of my cabinets and drawers onto my countertop surfaces. Hopefully everything fits. And then you go through each item and the way that Marie does it is you, you hold on to an item and if it sparks joy, you keep it. If it doesn't, you say thank you to that thing and you donate it. I, once again, will not be thanking my things. Um, I don't think that they have emotion. Um, so I'm just going to be a little bit more practical about it, meaning if I use it, utilize it, I keep it. If not, it gets donated. So let's have a look at my kitchen. So here's an overview of my kitchen. I have a pretty large kitchen. I actually did a video remodeling this um, a few years ago and making this butcher block countertop. So. If you want to see that i will link it in the eye but um this is my coffee bar area oven section i have a lot of cabinetry up top and up bottom and drawers and then over here more storage so there's quite a bit of space here as you can see i have a lot of storage space in my kitchen which means there are a lot of things in there that i probably don't even realize so Step number one is everything in these cabinets and drawers needs to come out onto the countertop. So let's get to it. Holy moly, this is our kitchen. There is so much stuff here. I actually had to have my husband come in. He had to help me take all of this stuff out. There's a lot of stuff. What do you think about all this stuff? There's stuff that we haven't <laughs> seen in here. Like this, this would have been great to use. Never knew we even had it. Literally every surface of our kitchen is covered, including the table, yes. a couple of the chairs. Let's show you how embarrassing this is. So this is our breakfast nook table that we usually eat at. We got it on chairs. This is the coffee. We didn't even touch any of the stuff in here because this is not, this is like craft things. It's not really like kitcheny stuff. Look at all of, this is from like two cabinets and the stove. Do you guys keep stuff in your stove? I do, I keep things in my stove, which I shouldn't have to do because I have this big kitchen. All right, look at all these things. There's so much stuff here, so much stuff. And you don't realize it until it's all out on your counters. One of our problem areas, definitely cups. We have so many cups that we don't need, guys, we don't need. So now what we get to do is go through all of this, yes. <laughs> figure out the Much stuff. Much needed. Yeah, it really is. We have like a random handle here. <laughs> I don't even know what this goes to. <laughs> a camping container for eggs? Uh, we've been camping like, what, four times in the last 20 years? So it's just things like that. We have to really like go through all of the things we have here and figure out what we're gonna keep and what's gonna go. Are you, are you scared or excited? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Me too. This? No, that I use this in the summertime. You actually use that? I do. I you can't it. use something nice. I drink nice. water out of this. I do. It's so cute. The kids love this. <laughs> the first thing I go to grab, she says no. <laughs> the first thing. Oh, it's so cute though. But I do have other ones that keep okay. the water colder. How about Frosty? <laughs> How many times have you ever made a Frosty? Listen. Twice? I, no, I, okay. Maybe twice, but <laughs> okay. I used to make cakes for a living, like literally actually made cakes, but I have not made cakes in a very long time. And there's a lot of cake 
stuff here, like fondant rollers, pans, even some of these. Like this one has the tag on it. Like this kind of stuff can definitely go. Those are those cookie cutters we're keeping. Well, like Wolverine here. <laughs> Do you use them? We're getting rid of these because they suck. <laughs> Don't waste your money on these. Lunch boxes. Remember when we used to use these? Oh, well, they've been sitting in here for over a year now. Time to go. Can we um, can we talk about the meat grinder? <laughs> it's duct taped. No, that's good. No, this is an antique. We're keeping this. Okay, this thing we actually use. These are cool. It's a collapsible water bowl for your dogs when you're out camping. And you can just attach it to your backpack or your belt, and then your dogs can have water. Definitely keeping. So this is the meat grinder that we actually use. We use this every single year at Christmas. So we're definitely keeping this one and the other one will collect dust and rust. We have a lot of silverware here. Uh, because when your kids were littered, did you ever like uh, lose forks and just buy more? I want to get rid of all these, no. but Jenny uses these. Listen, these are fantastic for coffee spoons. Okay, if you guys have like a Menchie's or a like frozen yogurt place, I use these all the time. Okay, so our pots and pans we've had for quite some time and we've used them so much that the finish is literally coming off of the pans. So I hunted for a really long time and got some really good quality ones, but these ones we've had forever. They're like cracking right there as you can see so i'm excited to get rid of pretty much everything on this thing i'm a creature of habit and if i'm going to mourn over any pot or pan that i'm going to get rid of it's this one do you guys remember these these were the cook in the pot and then drain them out i've had this thing forever i got it for christmas that's how much i wanted it um but it too has seen better days um i really love this i use it all the time but my new set has one of the straining lids so <sighs> so sad <laughs> when was the last time we used this long clearly time. it was a long time ago i think the last like house you want to use it as a hat here come here a witch hat there you go beautiful <laughs> Now, if we stack some books on it, you can walk around and see how good your balance is. <laughs> we have not used that in forever. It's for serving. We have not used that in forever. Looks a little warped. This is super rare. It's purple heart wood found in like South America. It's expensive. Does that mean we're keeping it because it's expensive? <laughs> no, just so you have to put up with it. <laughs> This lid goes to a pot set that we got, I think while we were still dating, 21 years ago. We haven't had the pots to this set for probably 15 years. Why we still have the lid, I don't know. So I had to sit down for this. This is the decluttering of the coffees. Mugs. This one is really cute, but it's huge. I don't really use it. Um, this one is my daughter's, so. Technically can't get rid of that without her permission. This one was a gift. Isn't this funny? Since California was so expensive, I could only afford half a cup and it's literally half a cup. So cute, I love it. Fall is my favorite time of year. See, I'm already having a hard time. My, my, my keep pile is already out of hand. Is it bad that I wanna keep coffee mugs because I have like memories attached to them? This is a lot harder than I thought. Oh wow, that's crazy. That's even moving all the cups from in there to here. There's still two empty shelves. I know. That's how it is for like most of the cabinets. Even up there, there's still space. <laughs> there's a lot of space up there. It's yeah. amazing, right? I think there's even open up here too. Yeah. Yeah. Even this drawer right here. Yeah, we couldn't even shut that drawer. <laughs> Silverware drawer. This was another one. Oh, yeah. There's like barely anything in here. Man, that's a huge difference in that yeah. one. It was my bad. I didn't like take you guys around and show you all the drawers and cabinets before we unloaded them. 
whatever. Um, there was a lot of stuff. I will show you our get rid of pile. So this entire table is all stuff from our kitchen that we are going to try to either sell at a yard sale or donate. Um, so much stuff here. Oh my gosh, there's like a whole kitchen I feel like here. So I'm excited to get rid of that. So if you guys have a lot of excess stuff in your house, I highly recommend this. Just going through and literally dump everything that you have out on a surface so that you can see it. Because if you do it one section at a time, and I almost did that, it's not gonna have near the effect that you want it to because we know that we have excess stuff, but when you can actually see it visually, it like jump starts and motivates you to like be like, okay, I have to get rid of at least half of this stuff because there's so much stuff there. So highly recommend that. It feels really good knowing that the things that you have in your house, you actually utilize. I don't know that we're gonna do this to any other part of our house. Maybe the garage. No. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I hope that you're motivated and encouraged to declutter some of the areas of your life. If you enjoyed this video while you're watching it, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay, I am a massive creature of habit, and if I'm going to mourn over any person that makes a bunch of noise, over any... <laughs> <laughs> Blooper. One more time. Hey, I'll go get those bear claws out.